what's up guys and welcome to our next uh, analysis of team analysis for our semi-finals actually in the TBU being our good friend and rival the Bristol Beedoof or Eric Ashnakai and uh, we actually fought each other first week in the TBU and it feels like ages ago I think that was in November that's like forever and um, yeah I mean we would actually been helping each other out, you know, throughout this uh, league, really, and you know, some kind of rivalry has been built, yes. But in the grand scheme of things, I feel that we are both doing really well, and I'm going into this game with uh, actually quite relaxed. Not that I have an easy time or anything, because I don't. It's not that, but more that I feel we both have done such a nice, just such a nice, you know season and uh, I'm really glad it's us in the end uh, we were to actually do in I guess one should say the best out of our six that were there and obviously we both had a really big hiccup in the second part of the season but, you know we came back and uh, we only up in the same score while he hasn't a big uh, like kill count differential but you know fair enough um, so yeah you know with all this my guys I'm gonna show you the team we were building, and also Ellis and Rob, thank you as always so much for the support and uh, you know the finishing touches. You guys just solves things. So anyway, let's see how our first one is doing. This is of course the Thunderers, and Thunderers was actually a man that I was wanting to bring against him the first time going up against him, but I ended up not doing it because I really, really thought that he was not going to bring Milotic, being that Milotic is just. Um, Whittled down by Thunders alone. Now, this is time I'm bringing Thunders because I'm pretty sure he'll bring it. <laughs> He's gonna bring Melodic and it's gonna be an issue. Uh, also, it just works really well. We have maximum speed, of course. Our speed Mega Laddie has record speed of 110. In base speed, we actually count to 111. Table Ice Beam hits everything neutrally. That's really all that matters. Um, and we're able to hopefully set up a Nasty Plus against the likes of Tangrowth and Heatron. Conqueror, etc. But the uh, Thunder Wave is there for a potential Scar Heatron and uh, you know Scar Tarantrum or Dragon as one. And if Excelgor actually posed a problem for me, which it possibly could, um, the HP investments here are to make sure that we can take an Ice Punch from a uh, standard AV uh, Conqueror from full health. Now, obviously, that's not we're gonna stay in on, but you know, if I am at plus two. I really want to pull off that Thunderbolt, and that is what all going to come down to. So, um, pretty generic, but I really didn't want any other way with Thunders. Thunders is a very, very potent mod this battle, and due to his changes, it's actually getting even scarier. So, yeah, Thunders is the way to go, and definitely one of my prime sweeper for this game. So, I get actually good use out of it. Next mom being Mega Denji, bringing of course back this beast, who actually took out four of his mom last time. Now I was a bit lucky with this set, and who actually gave up Protect for Calm Mind. Now it might sound strange, I'm not going to have Protect, but it pr pretty much is all it is. I'm feeling I can use um, Dianji properly this time. I I won't rely on uh, such a easy tricks really because. I really need to have a full moveset here. I need Rock Polish anyway because of Excelgor, because of any potential Scarf for Bean, of course, Sarantra and whatnot. Those are the mods that's gonna be relevant. I need Call Mine because that could actually set up against his Lodios, actually. And uh, that would be just all kinds of good. Um, besides that, let's see. It actually became somewhat of that didn't really want to go for max speed. But obviously, like I said, we need to speed tie with. Uh, uh, Lodios, which isn't really a big threat, but if it's a defensive Milotic, then actually a regular Dianzi will be faster uh, with Mega Bolt, which is a great way of actually coming in on it. And also, worth noting, Conkeldur is not faster if I Mega Evolve on it. So those two are the mods I'm going to focus heavily on. And basically, what it's gonna come down to is that if you can't stop Dianzi properly, then Dianzi is gonna stop him properly. And uh, yeah, I don't see a big issue with this set in mind. It's just gonna work wonders. I really hope so at least. And I hope I don't have to pay for not using Protect. But I think I'm using this professionally enough to not have to worry about that. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we actually brought Heracross. I actually forgot to say that, but Heracross has been revived from the bench and actually gave up Cobalion because it doesn't do anything anyway, this team. Now, this set, though, this set, though, has one unique aspect. It has Paya Berry, I do believe we're calling it. It's, or actually, Paya pa Berry. It's a berry that reduces psychic damage. Now, why would I have that? Well, I'll get to it. First of all, I have enough speed to outspeed Heatran. Uh, Megaron Close Combat hits everything neutrally and pretty darn hard. Uh, Sword Stance is there for um, actually primarily Melodic, but also Tangra if it decides to use it. But Melodic is definitely the one in mind. And, you know, trying to get those Skull Burns really. Uh, Rock Tomb is there for pretty much filler. Uh, it's great to get a speed drop on anything that could potentially survive us and use anything else to actually get around for it. Now, here's the thing. Um, we are going to face Psychic Moss. He has Reuniclus. He has Latias. Uh, or Latios. Uh, with this berry, we can take any damage from them. And if he decides to go for Trick Room uh, Reuniclus, then we can actually work around it with, of course, this Hero Cross in mind. I'm gonna keep it kind of healthy throughout the match. I don't want to spoil anything with this set, but it's gonna be a set that I really, really hope can not only survive his team, but also kind of destroy it uh, pretty slowly, I guess. But uh, it just it covers what I need to, and I think it'll do just fine. Portmanis is Volcarona, and actually a pretty niche Volcarona, to be completely honest with you. Uh, this set is uh, basically has enough speed to outspeed Heatron, like that's relevant. Uh, combination of Giga Drain, Bug Buzz, Hidden Power Gry 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 Ground, hits everything simply effectively. The only man that actually can take this on is an Assault Vest. Oh, sorry. Assault Vest Conkledur, and that's going to be a deal. Like, if I can whittle down Conkledur, then uh, I should be able to actually win with this set. One. Quiver Dance is enough to outspeed a modest uh, Accelerator, should be noted. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling positive about this set. Now, there are situations here that could work against me, but I'm basically trusting the shit out of this set to work really well. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's it's really nothing complex. I don't have a Fire Stab because I don't need any Fire Stab in this battle. It, it won't help me. Uh, it will only enhance... Uh, any kind of rough situation with his uh, Heatron. So, um, basically, this set is here for make sure the Heatron comes in as a response and then hit the power ground that shit out of that one. Uh, Heatron doesn't pose a big threat for my team, but having a mon like that out of the way will help feature mons such as my next mon to work slightly better. And when I say slightly, I mean just a bird enough. And of course, that mon is going to be. Shaman, yeah, uh, Shaman just had to make it. Uh, for the same reason, was actually in this team last time. It is a good defensive response, and um, there is really nothing big to it. Uh, it has enough special defense men to avoid an Oko from a modest Specs Excelgor. Now, obviously, I don't want to do that, but having that in mind is helpful. Um, and actually, of course, with that kind of set in mind. We are gonna soak Raikou a bit better, even though we're gonna pick Hidden Power Ice, I'm sure. Um, with a defense investment, we actually can survive a 2 hit KO area, or actually avoid a 2 hit KO area from Assault Vest Conqueror, uh, if it has Ice Punch, which is very unlikely. Uh, the only re way he could break that apart is a Poison Jab Shear Force. Um, enough speed investment here uh, to outspeed an unboosted Adamant Tarantrum. And Honshiro. Now, obviously, they will probably be boosted, but uh, uh, we haven't done a mile least if they are a bit slower. Uh, outside of that, Air Slash is there to hit Tangrove and Excelgor, and Seed Flare does actually more to Conk Elder than Air Slash, but it is a good filler. Um, that's pretty much it. It doesn't really need to be get or getting much more complex than that. I am feeling sure that this set is gonna fall. But it's one of those Pokemon that can survive the onslaught and then basically uh, do a, some damage to the opposing team and hopefully even wheel them down to some extent. And the last money is Empoleon, and uh, 
and Polion is basically the high definition of pillar. It's only here because of Defog, it's only here because we're bringing a Volcarona, it's only here because we're bringing a Thunderous. We need something to get up the hazards out of the way. Now, it's not ideal to have it for that reason alone, but it has some ways of working too. It was either that or Landris, but I'm kind of feeling Landris could... While it could do well in this game, it couldn't do as well as the synergy kind of requires, which means that Empoleon needs to be in this set in mind. Now, uh, we have actually a knockoff, and we basically have a knockoff to make sure that his switch is, of course, going to be <laughs> the Conqueror is going to get his Assault Fest knocked off, because that's going to be a big deal. Uh, I need that to happen to Oko it with the NG, like, that, that's going to be the, <laughs> the focus on it. Uh, Skull is there, because Skull is Skull, um, and Stealth Rocks, um, that's about it. Uh, this set is definitely not, um, not something I'm going to use for its longevity. Uh, you know, I have enough defense to uh, avoid um, plus one, <laughs> or be avoid two with KO from plus one Tarantrum, which is fine. Uh, even if you survive it, we're not going to be potentially surviving it in the onslaught of it. But, you know, that's a thing. Uh, special defense investment is there basically as you know, taking hits if I have to. Uh, primarily, actually, dealing with heat to some extent and taking an unboosted uh, earth power. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's a filler mod. I have 12 in speed, so I'll speed conqueror, just so you know, Eric, in case you're watching this, I only need 12 EV stouts or to avoid a speed creep from the conqueror. So yeah, have that in mind. But yeah, this is pretty much the team, and here are my afterthoughts about this team, or rather, <laughs> what we're gonna face up against. So okay, this team of course is a bit more fractal than the last team I used, but the thing is, my opponent here, uh, as <clears throat> how to say it, his team is not weaker, but it's easier to build for uh, due to his switches. Now, it really doesn't matter that I think that, because it's all gonna come down to if he can make the right plays or not against me, because he has the right mods, there is no doubt that he can do well against me. Uh, this team is primarily there to make sure that I have as, as many chances as possible to actually whittle him down and hopefully force him out. Uh, I'm playing on the aggressive side, I'm going to play to break him apart, and this is my best way of doing just so. If I'm not able to do it with this team, then Eric is more than worth out to be in the finals, and that, that's what it's gonna boil down to. I don't mind losing this match at all. I'm actually feeling a bit glad it just is us two in the end. And uh, I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, so, you know, the best of luck to the both of us, Eric. Um, I, I won't even predict your team. I, or I could probably say that I'm, I'm going to see, I know I'm going to see Conqueror and Malorik. Uh, they, are, they are definitely going to be there. I'm pretty sure we're going to bring Solgor. Um, okay, we're doing this, obviously. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Larios, Conqueror. Hunchcrow. No, you're not gonna bring Hunchcrow. Conqueror, Mylodic, that's three months. Axelgo, four. Huh. You're definitely gonna bring those. I do believe you're gonna bring Tangrowth, so that's five. And if I had to make a um, good guess here about your last mon, hmm, I'll either say Raikou due to the speed here. Uh, I really hope to do so. Conqueror, Mylodic, Axelgor, Raikou, Heatron, Tangro, or Megaladius. Damn, he has so many mods. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> the mods I feel he's not gonna bring is Honchkrow or Uniclis. I don't think they work too well here. Um, the rest of his mods are doing just fine. They really are, and I'm not. I'm not liking that. The Ladias. Raikou, he needs them because he needs the, the few faster mons, basically. And Raikou, of course, actually outspeed my whole draft. So I'm pretty sure he'll bring that. But yeah, outside of that, I really just hope we can win this. And if, even if, like I said, if we don't, 